Jays and Germs, Elton McFall here in the Oshalaga Maison of Beru, Montreal. And no, I'm not British. I <laughs> just pretend to be one in the movies. <laughs> Anyway, uh, not to start on a bad note, but there used to be a kick-ass mural here, but I live in a part of the city filled with savages. These estis sauvages de colis de tabarnak, and I don't mind saying that wide open like that. Just like that, because it's a, more of a sign, as usual, of society going down the toilet. Uh, you know, I see these kids walk by with their little soon to be their father, and I really wonder at times now more than ever, I guess because of my older age, what is this city? Or city is going to be like in the near future. Look, look at this. Any, any excuse to do graffiti. This is a perfect example. On a main street, by the way. Okay, they're turned into the Bronx, and there's like I, I see all these students, these English students, come from from wherever, and and like they're coming to live here, right? Only because why? It's close to their universities, McGill, Concordia, right? And this and that because it's it's still affordable here. Well, my place still affordable, but that's only because I've been living there for ten years. So yeah, Hoshalaga, love-hate relationship, definitely more than ever, probably leaning more towards the hate. But that's only, again, because of all the annoying people that live around here. Because most people are good people here, you know? So. And I'm going to jaywalk because you can do that in this city. Not a really big deal. Nice clean Mercedes there. Oh, the wind today. Oh, God, I can't believe I forgot to mention how freezing it is today. I should be actually be watching, walking on the other side of the street. Maybe there'll be less wind. Look, look at this old dental office sign. I don't know how old it is, but it's really cool with the raised letters like that. It's got to be old. You know? Oh, man, it's unreal. It's like, I don't know, minus 5, minus 6. It's this crazy wind gusting up to 50, 60. Uh, instead of going forward and... and in time, it seems like we've gone back to February, really, you know? Oh, look, right on cue, the 125 scrap. Merci encore pour l'STM. That's all there is out here, practically, you can take. There's no more old buses. They're all gone to west, southwest, northwest of the city. That's all there is, a scrap. This one, the other one I see the stop is scrap. Scrap. And it's a reflection, unfortunately. And many people will agree, because they don't live here anymore, that yeah, that maybe that's a representation of Montreal is scrap compared to other Canadian cities. Like how it's filthy everywhere, for example, that's another thing. People will notice that when they come from other places. They notice the garbage all over the place. So anyway, so if you're expecting a vi walking videos to be like other people, everything's all fluffy and nice and no swearing or controversial things. I keep it more on a down low on that stuff, but I'm still going to say it the way it is, whatever the case. Actually, come to think of it, I should be doing this in French. Because I'm planning to do a walking video in French. I just keep forgetting to do it. What the hell happened to this place? Look, this is what I'm talking about. It's all a bunch of anarchists here. Look at this. It's just that they just all want anarchy for crying out. Look, don't get me wrong. I'm anti-government too more than ever in my life. Not completely. you got to have some kind of a guidance and restraint and leadership you know what i mean just that we only have a bunch of flunkies running ottawa or freaking quebec anyway it doesn't matter who it is there's another awesome sign check this out see that sign there look how beautiful that is. it says mobiliaire which means uh, furniture yeah that's worth a few bucks eh see what i mean the graffiti is just Anyway, I just... And the funny thing is, too, is that I, I always seem to remember, I often remember, I often think of recently about how when I was doing my large 11 by 17 original drawings, you know, in marker and pen and doing this and that. And I did a couple of Mopars, right? I did one that was a 81 Dodge Murata with like a New York Jersey plate, you know, sort of like a turnpike thing. And, you know, there's walls to the turnpike and there's graffiti on them, you know. I lived in, and I had the best pad I ever had in my life was in the suburbs, in Pierfo, in the Yama Bay section. And then another drawing was really a New York street scene, like ghetto scene, Brooklyn or Bronx, and was uh, 72 Chrysler Newport, green. And that, and that was probably the same amount of graffiti for realism, you know. But other than that, uh, you know, I've been living down here for many years now in the city. I don't like it anymore. It's just ugly. The only real graffiti that's art is actual art, not friggin' tags and crap. Get a life, get a hobby. Draw on canvas, paint on canvas. It's, it's just, ugh. 
and, and I remember I watched a video of a couple that lived here for a few years. They're from Toronto, right? And uh, and they were mentioning that too. They like they couldn't believe the amount of graffiti there was in the city in Montreal compared to Toronto. So yeah, I'm envious at times. I'm envious. I dream. I was telling the friends that living, you know, another place for at least a couple of years, like Ottawa, uh, Toronto, uh, less. You know, so. But anyway, it could be a lot worse. I just saw somebody graffiti Free Palestine. That about says it all, right? You see that guy who just passed by me? There's so many people that look like guys like this, man. Like, I was actually, believe it or not, years ago, I wouldn't actually have thought it twice about doing this video, but it actually did occur to me. I'm like, ah, oh, somebody's gonna piss me off, get on my nerves, they're gonna say, I don't wanna be filmed or whatever, and it's gonna be one of these scruffy, like, broke ass, drug addict type people, and boozers, either way, to just zeros, and they're going nowhere. And Mind you, I did say in a walking video recently, it's like, I realized, you know, look, I've got great friends and family, Look at this bullshit. Bullshit. Anyway. It's more important. I lost my train of thought now. <laughs> I totally lost my train of thought. Shit, man. I used to go to this grocery store right here. But, uh, there's no selection in this store. It's like, it's old school bad way. Like, it's too small. And it's expensive. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Look, 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 it's an electric vehicle, but there's an exhaust pipe on that. There's a motor on, on there. Surely, probably to power the electric motor or in case as a backup generator if the, uh, you know, the uh, the uh, the electric motor fails. Of course, it could fail. It definitely might fail. It might catch on fire even. And of course, there was this controversy in the news last year or the year before about how these school buses, some of had these green bumpers on them, and they were supposed to symbolize that they were... Uh, EVs when in fact a lot of them were gas powered earth killing machines god forbid <laughs> speaking of EVs there's another one that's what my tax dollars are for you know putting money in my tax dollars everybody's going broke at these stupid goddamn EVs you drive an EV that's your business whatever you know what I mean but it's just it's too expensive it's, it's uh, too expensive too out of reach too many downsides to them that's just how I see them you know well, that's the way of the world so it actually it's funny to talk about this stuff and talk about how things are wrong in the world today and uh, you know me being uh, old school as I am to the bone which is not always good and uh, making uh, using a GoPro that I didn't even buy it was a friend of mine who gave it to me hallelujah thanks to him and uh, you know just talking about again how the things have gone in a negative direction for people like me or maybe even you actually i want to show you guys a pause something positive here i feel kind of bad now because there's not a lot of positive in my video here this awesome mural over here actually there's an, there's two of them there i'm gonna cross the street here and show that to you as the uh i've been here a few times i'll give them a plug they give really good customer service in this place there you know for me you got gloria the kitty cat i went there last time to buy a freaking uh, litter box because she was starting to piss out of the other box because cats will drive you nuts with stuff like that you know what i mean like if the if the box it doesn't matter how much you clean it if it still smells like their own urine they're not gonna do their business in the box it's gonna be right out of the box <laughs> oh my god and it's like if you give them food they never eat everything so then you end up throwing basically a third of what you buy a month or something like that uh anyway well it's freezing it's windy but at least i'm on the good side here. There's not much wind the sun is shining got a beautiful late day here actually much better than anticipated this weather experts they said it's going to be a mix of sun and cloud it wasn't really much cloud at all <sighs> we're getting near the end of this video nothing long just short and sweet i'm uh like I said, I'm getting ready to go to the uh, supermarket and get some things. Check out this awesome mural here. I love it. Maybe that'll be my thumbnail. The positive thumbnail in a whiny, complaining video of where I live in Hushlaga for over 10 years. Believe it, it'll be actually 11 years. Oh yeah, this place, this jewelry. Even Ben got a shot of this place. Check this out. Yeah, look at that. If you want to talk about old school beauty, look at that chrome or... or no, they're mirrors. The old side. Something's responding. Something's responding. Might have to wrap it up here. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm kind of walking towards here. I don't know why my... I might turn the 
the video off for. I'll just uh, end this video with a bang if they're coming down here on Peanut where that sign is. Which sounds like a possible voice would be though. Look at you go, yeah. It's a speedy end. It's like a fast forward to the end on PNF. High nine, as the English call it jokingly, which is hilarious. Not to me though, because I'm a, a more Francais Quebecois, my lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, where are you? I hear you there. Wheel in that federal. Wheel in that queue. All right, that's it, guys. I gotta. Uh, actually, that's the second time I hear the first responding. As soon as I walk out of my house, I hear them responding. I haven't filmed anything responding all week. I almost feel like saying, okay, I'm throwing in the towel. I don't care. I'm tired of caring all the time. What for? To make two, 350 bucks a month? Big deal. My videos are worth a lot more than that combined. Sure as hell don't appreciate those goddamn Russians stealing my shit, by the way. God forbid they should do things honestly, these bastards. Actually, you know what? Let me end the video by saying a big fuck you to all you crooked people out there fucking people over. And taking advantage of the system, making everything more difficult for you, especially you committing fraud. Go fuck yourselves. And thank you for watching and take care. God bless.